are here celebrating the 10th anniversary of our pastor and wife. It is truly a blessing and an honor to be here with them today. And it's truly a blessing and an honor, Pastor, that you allow me to speak at your pastor and wife anniversary. It truly is an honor to, uh, to speak on behalf of my pastor. I really thank God for my pastor. And I thank God for what this place we call Faith Gospel. God have a word today, and I pray that someone be blessed by the word. And I'm not going to hold you long. I'm going to go ahead and get to the meat of it and, and uh, put them on. Because there's flavor in the bone. Uh, you can have the meat, but give me the bone. Uh, it's season in the bone. Amen. If be so kind, turn with me to Roman 1 and 16. Roman 1 and 16. Roman 1 and 16. And if be so kind, would you stand to reference the word of God? And if you cannot stand, uh, that would be quite all right. And the word of God reads as print, and I'll be reading from the King James Translation. And verses Roman 1, 16 through 17 reads as printed. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God to salvation. For everyone who believes, for the Jew first, and also for the Greek. For in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Let's use for a thought today a pastor who stand. All right. A pastor All right. who stand. Yeah. And you know I messed up. <laughs> Deacon, I mean, Mr. Davis is supposed to be introducing me. I apologize for that, David. I just want to recognize that Mr. Davis is supposed to be introducing me. But that's, uh, but that's my partner right there. Thank you. Thank you for that, David. But the, um, the thought for this evening is a pastor who stands. Uh, what do we look for in a pastor? Hmm. That's a good question. Mm, what do we look for in a pastor? Look, what do we look for to hear from a man on Sunday? Mm, well, you know, the pastor is a spiritual advisor and guide. He is the kind of pastor that you can share things in confidence. Uh, and counsel you before you make very important decisions uh, in your life. Uh, would you Go and get advice from a financial advisor who is bankrupt. Mm. So it is very imperative to have a good pastor. A pastor who stand, tell a pastor who will not fail under pressure. Hmm. Uh, pressure will make you change your mind. Pressure will make you tear things down. Uh, and pressure will make you give up. But we still ask in the question and for the talk today, a pastor who stands. Uh, no matter what, no matter what the world may say, Paul said to his son, be strong as a soldier of Christ. 
Oh, you must teach other those things you and many other have heard me speak about. Uh, for a pastor to stand, you must take your share of suffering. Mm. Oh, as a good soldier of Jesus the Christ. And do not let yourself become tied up in worldly activities. Mm. For when you do, uh, you cannot satisfy being enlisted in the world of the army. Uh, it is a cup that you can never fill. Uh, but when you have a pastor who stands, uh, we see this day Paul is the speaker. And he said, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believe. What is uh, the gospel of Christ? That is spreading the good news. That is the death, the burial, uh, the resurrection, and the extension of Jesus the Christ. Uh, uh, the New Testament speak of salvation. Uh, it speaks in past tense in Ephesians 2 and 8. Uh, it speaks of salvation in the present tense in 2 Corinthians 2 and 15. And also it speaks of salvation in the futuristic in the future tense in, in 2 Corinthians 13 and 11. In the past, the believer had been saved from the penalty of sin. Uh, in the present, the believer is being saved from the power of sin. Uh, in the future, the believer will be saved from the very presence of sin. Mm, I am not ashamed of the gospel. Uh, it is no, uh, no better manuscript than Paul said, I am a debtor. Uh, I am ready, and I am not ashamed. Uh, I am a devil that is of admission. Uh, I am ready is remission. And I am not ashamed of the gospel is submission. Uh, there are three missions of Paul. There is admission, remission, and submission. Uh, this enabled him to stand bold on the word of God. Uh, Pastor, that stands. Uh, I stopped by today to tell you that all your labor is not in vain. Uh, the Bible tells me to say, He said, Therefore, my beloved brother, be steadfast, <laughs> unmovable, always abound in the work of the Lord, <laughs> knowing that your labor is not in vain. <laughs> it's good to stand on the Lord's side. I remember when Moses stood in the midst of the, of the children of Israel. <laughs> he said, who is on the Lord's side? And when you find out you're on the right side, you can stand bold on the Lord's side. Oh, we, we have to stand on the word of God. Uh, because God, we have a living Lord. Uh, Jesus he is alive. And the gospel message is true. Uh, witnesses saw him, uh, saw him have passed along that testimony unto us. Oh, uh, when you trust him, uh, you receive resurrection of life. When you trust him, you can receive eternal life. Yeah. Uh, when you trust and stand on God's word, death cannot hold you back. Oh, uh, we have to stand huh, on the word of God. Because when you stand on the word of God, we have living hope. Oh, uh, Jesus Christ will come again. And the dead in Christ shall rise. Uh, we will have glorified bodies. Oh, my mothers and sisters this day, pattern of a pastor who stands. Uh, as I look around me, pastors here, uh, the pastor have 
to stand. Oh, we have we have the word of God because we have living dynamics when we stand on the word of God. Oh, we have no reason to give up because Jesus has conquered sin and death. Oh, if you really believe in the resurrection and return of Jesus, oh, uh, verse 58 will characterize your life is the, the best yet to come. Oh, uh, so let us give him our best now. Oh, uh, we talking about uh, a pastor who stands. Oh, uh, I can see Abraham had to stand. Uh, he stood on the word of God. Oh, uh, when God told Abraham, he said, Take now thy son, thy only son Isaac, whom thou love, and get thee into the land of Moriah. And offer him there for burnt offering upon one of the mountain which I tell you they of. Oh, uh, he had to stand. But who is going to stand? Yeah. It is good to see a pastor yeah. that stands on the word of God. Yeah. Uh, I'm proud to say that my pastor stands on the word of God. Uh, we see in the word this day, Abraham said to his young men, uh, this is how much faith Abraham had today. Uh, he said, abide ye here with the ass, uh, and I and my lad will go yonder and worship and come again. Uh, what confidence do we have that confidence in Jesus the Christ this day? Oh, when adversity comes in our life, can you say that uh, we will go over here and praise the Lord? And when we come back, everything is going to be all right. Oh, I can see this day. Oh, uh, uh, Pastor, don't bow to the will of man. Mm, but the will of God. Uh, I can see in the word today, I see the Hebrew boys. <laughs> uh, that King Nebuchadnezzar react in an angry stand to take the Hebrew boy to determine to destroy them, but by the fiery furnace. Uh, he ordered them bound up and cast into the furnace. Uh, he is seven times hotter than it normally was heated. Uh, are you going to stand on the word of God? Oh, uh, their faith in God would not allow them to stoop to the same level as a pagan god. Uh, in other words, their standard and manner of life made them different from the others around them in that day. Uh, this day, we should be very mindful, my brothers and sisters. Uh, the born-again believer should have a different standard of living from the world. Mm, when a pastor stands, uh, he has to endure persecution. Uh, but the word of God says, uh, well, uh, the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus the Christ, that is standing on the word of God and spreading the gospel. It is good uh, to have a pastor that stands. Uh, when you have a pastor, that preach the gospel and the word of God, uh, uh, many will despise you. <laughs> uh, and many will roll their eyes at you. Uh, when you have a pastor that stands on the word of God, uh, most folks want to hear a 20 minute lie instead of a five second truth. Uh, you got to stand on the word of God. Oh, uh, the pastor standing on the word of God. Tell the sinner man, it is time and now to serve the Lord. Oh, uh, when you have a pastor that stands on the word of God, he's going to tell the sin 
sick world. That is a heaven to gain and a hell to son. Oh, uh, when you have a pastor that stands on the word of God, telling it all well for all have sinned and come short to the glory of God. Oh, uh, when you have a pastor that stands, uh, you got to tell him that for the wages of, of sin is death. Uh, but the gift of God is eternal life. Oh, uh, when you have a pastor that stands on the word of God, uh, he don't compromise the word of God. Oh, uh, when you have a pastor that stands, uh, you're going to have some family member pastor. Uh, you're going to have some friend uh, pastor. Uh, they going to turn their back on you. Uh, you got to have a pastor that stands. Uh, and this is so beautiful. He got a first lady right beside him. Uh, what he go through, the first lady go through. When you hurt him, uh, you hurt her. So you, uh, I'm going to leave that part alone. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave that alone right now. I'm going to stay on track. But what you do to him, you do to her. Uh, uh, when they talk about you, uh, you just keep standing on the word of God. Uh, when they drag your name through the mud, Pastor, uh, you just keep your hand in God's hand. And when they persecute you, you just look to the hill where coming your help. So all I have come from the Lord. One of these old days, Pastor, and it won't be long, all your labor will not be in vain. Because God so loves the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world. But by him he shall be saved. Talking about Mary, how Mary will be saved. Talking about my Jesus, my Jesus Christ. Tell you what they did to us. They stashed the wine. They fed him all in his time. Why did blood can't sleep it down? Come on, that silly! Oh, silly! Oh, silly! Talk about silly! Oh, silly! He is the son of a living God. Tell you what they did to my Lord and my Savior. Took him down to the throne of the bar and tomb. Hear a 20 minute lie 
than a five seven two. Amen. Amen. Let us stand. I ain't gonna hold you wrong.